Hi, welcome to Automation Testing Dot In. Please hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon to get the notifications. In this video, we will see Extent Reports version four coming soon. Yes, very soon we are going to see Extent Reports version four, and they have come up with a new logo. Previously, they do not have any logo. Now you can see they are coming up with a logo also. So we'll see what are the Highlights of this version four, Extend Reports version four is ready to release, introducing most desired features and fixes from version three. And I'm not very sure what are the desired features, but we need to wait and see. Some major changes to the way we have used reporting in the past, and need to add the new dependencies and no need to change any code. So there is a conflict between these two statements, but I have taken these points from their website. We need to see. What are the major changes and why we do not need to change the code? And different types of formatters will be provided for developers, testers, and management. Few of those samples are extent BDD formatter, extent logger formatter, extent tabular formatter, extent event formatter. So we'll see all these things. What is the difference between these reports? And coming to the CLO. Clo also undergone for major changes and available with a ton of new features. So they are going to introduce more features in Clo also, and you will be able to track not only your tags but also your devices, authors, environment variables, and a host of new options for user management. And then adapters, you will be able to use the existing adapters. The adapters not currently existing in the community will be developed. The following adapters will be developed. So we already have TestNG and Cucumber adapters, but they are going to introduce JBehave and Serenity in the new version. If you would like to use your own customized way of reporting, skip the adapters and create your own. Several examples will be available with the documentation for setting up customized reporting. So we will see all these things in the documentation of version four that still not available. Extent framework will be moving to a new organization in the GitHub. So you can see all this information in the this GitHub link, and then when when it is coming. So last week of September to early October. So within a month, you are going to see latest version of Extend reports. We will get end of the September or early October, and then we'll see what are the adapters. All these things you see that in their website. I am seeing this new logo. And there is a button like version four announcement. When you click on this, you will get the same information which I told you in the PPT. Coming to here, you see that different formatters. So this is BDD formatter, and this is logger formatter, and this is tabular formatter, and this is event formatter. Are different types of formatters available? And uh, when you go down, you see the new. Location of GitHub. There you can see the logo and extend framework, and you can find all the repositories here. Okay, that's all in this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like us on our Facebook page and please subscribe to YouTube channel for interesting updates.